Welcome to Cancel This. I'm Vic Faust. Yes, I am back. Welcome to this beautiful studio alongside host Tabitha Hassel, super intelligent. Ha- Good to see you, Tabitha. Good to see you, And guys. the very creative, one of the most creative men on the planet, Eric Johnson, rock star, media mm. man, marketing genius. Like I told you yesterday, there's, this, there's no such thing as a rock star bass player. That's right. <laughs> hey, this is Cancel This. What we're about, the forefront of everything we do, you see this, Cancel This. That's because I was canceled. This is Cancel Education 101 at its finest. Anybody who's been canceled for any reasons, it could be an individual, it could be an employee, school teachers, coaches, you name it, people in companies, it doesn't matter. What we do is we tell those stories. We also have the education behind it. What happens to people who've been canceled? How they overcome those situations and also the people who try to cancel all at the heart of what we do, interviews and so much more. And it's all wrapped in to a Monday through Friday live show, three hours every single day. But the cancel part is just part of what we do, Tabitha. It is. We also have a daily live show that we talk about news, news headlines, news commentary. It is culture Mm -hmm. and it is society. And that's what we do at its finest. And you know, it's here's the thing. This show has been cancel this for a long time. We've been doing this now a couple of years and we've been, I have been fascinated with the cancel culture. It is an amazing, uh, I don't know what the right analogy is. I don't know what the right adjective is, but cancel culture has taken on everything and it is winning everything. And I think we're starting to see a time period when people who are being canceled, no matter what, they are starting to take their power back and they're starting to question just who is it that's canceling people and you know can they can some of the scrutinies hold up to what they're trying to cancel so i'm excited about this show for that reason cuz we're going to research all of that stuff we're going to talk to wokes we're going to talk to people that are that have no policy sense and we're going to challenge them and i cannot wait and that's just part of it it is. And, you know, I'm ready to cancel people. I'm all for it. <laughs> you can't cancel anybody. You guys might be surprised who gets canceled. But that's just the start of it because what we do, too, is you talk about this, and we have seen it with you for years. You study this information, not just nationally, but internationally, when it comes to the stories and the things that affect people's lives. Yes. N- no question. I mean, you know, I always say, I always say I'm a researcher before anything. I'm a researcher. I spend countless hours to make sure I know every single news story before we come in the studio and we're going to get that news far before anyone else. You're going to hear it here before you hear it on Fox National, here before you see it on your local news. But we're also going to cover big topics that everyone's talking about, mm-hmm. big, hot topics. But I feel I always feel like my specialty is getting the news out there before anyone else. Um, who brought up Ivermectin first? She did. Well, who do you think? <laughs> I, she and, did. And Ivermectin's <laughs> accepted now, yeah. isn't it? It is. It, it, it absolutely is. As a matter of fact, I almost took some today. Well, I don't know that it's... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know that it's accepted. But but Tabitha did is she brought into the conversation during a time of COVID that, hey, guys, I found out some things about this horse paste. And me and Vic looked at each other and went, what the hell it's are like, you talking the- about? <laughs> Ivor I'm not, Watkin? I'm not sucking on yeah. a team. <laughs> and <laughs> what made it fascinating is But that, I eventually did. Yeah. <laughs> what made it and fascinating. You didn't sound like a horse. That was the beginning of cult <laughs> the, the cancel culture yeah. to me. Because uh, right. because a doctor that we used to work with brought it up in his practice, remember? And immediately the government was like, No, you can't do this. This is not good science. It, and it, we found and out lied. later. Yeah. We found out later. Actually, it could have been good science. Yeah. And that's just one of the examples because you're in all the time. People check out your yeah. Facebook. They check out your Instagram. They see you're up at like two in the morning posting about Ukraine. You're posting about Israel. You're posting about Brazil. And I'm like, where the hell is she yeah. finding all of this stuff? And I and I want to backtrack a little bit because what we're talking about for anyone that doesn't know, the three of us, at one point, we were on a show called The War on COVID. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we started that show in March of 2020. We were kind of popular at one point. We, we? Once a we were on what, <laughs> several different stations all across the country. And we had all of the top leading experts on our show. And we were way ahead on COVID, way ahead of anyone. Well, 
And that's and Tabitha, remind people. I mean, you've been in radio for what twenty four years, twenty five years, thirty. Not quite that long. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite that. She doesn't long. want to show her age, but go ahead. <laughs> and, and, and Eric, you've been in yes. sports radio. You've yes. been in news for a well, long time. I, look, I come from sports radio. When when I, I look at radio as a contact sport, I do. I'm sorry. There's th- this can be unpretty sometimes. People can have amazing opinions that go kind of astray. We kind of with COVID, we were kind of always. We didn't know that it was going to be kind of the divide of the country. It really was. It was. Think if you think no about, doubt it. about it. You either was getting the jab or you was not getting the jab. <laughs> remember? So I look at it and I'm so excited. This is going to be an interactive show. This is going to be you guys and us looking at what you're saying and us interacting with what you're saying, either, either through Facebook or through whatever medium and talking to each other about this stuff. So I'm excited about that, man. Well, and the elephant in the room, uh, me. <laughs> right off the bat. Well, <laughs> no, we got. And we I wasn't about- going to call you an elephant, but if mm. you want to say it, <laughs> no, we. T- I, I kind of got into it at the beginning. I was canceled, so to speak. Um, people may know what happened with the story. I was in local news and local radio for 24 years. Uh, I lost my local TV news job. The local TV news job. Uh, there was a reason for that, and we're going to get into that because, as you say in news, there's always two sides to every story. I apologized for my actions before anything ever became public, so I'm not here to apologize again. Just put things in context, because when you work in a work environment for 24 years and you are advanced with raises in every single one of those contracts for 24 years, Mm -hmm. there's no history of any issues. Mm -hmm. There was an issue, and um, like I said, I moved on, and we're all moving on. And then that's what co- the cancel education situation that we are. The 101, you come to us and you'll see those interviews. Yeah. We have an incredible studio. We will have guests in studio. But we also have the ability to have, I don't know, about seven or eight other people joining us yes. through this technology that we have put together in this incredible studio that you see. And our producer, Mike Wilkerson, has been extremely responsible for putting that together. Mike, let everybody know about your background as well. Oh, sure. Everyone, I'm Mike Wilkerson, and I've been podcasting now for 18 years. And uh, Tabitha actually found me through a a common Facebook thread. Go figure. And what she was looking for was a producer that would match a a window and a need. And uh, I I love that I answered the call because this has become far more than just coming in and pushing a button. Um, I had known something about Vic's story from inception, really, uh, paying attention to the the, the local goings on what's happening inside of radio in general is something that I did regularly. And um, I remember the story hitting, but I also remember that Vic is instantly going to have an instantaneous ability to have the cancel astronaut experience. The one that no one else on planet earth ever wants to have. Yeah. And the ability to take the, the experience of what happened then, yeah. but more importantly, what has happened since And how you have been able to stair step back into being able to convey a life that was essentially stolen from you. I'm all over it. And I'm in a thousand percent. And you have a podcasting career and history. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it's about it's about capturing the perspectives of everybody that was involved inside of really anything that's cancel anything, regardless of side, by the way, too. Uh, It's something that also really, really perked my interest is that. This is not about a conservative lean or a liberal lean. This is about having the conversation so that everybody can get on the same page when it comes to being canceled, to trying to cancel people, but more importantly, how to recover from being canceled. And it can happen to anybody. Look at the celebrities. Look at the superstars all over the country right now being canceled. If you say the wrong thing, if you don't like the same politics Mm -hmm. as somebody else and you're willing to say it in public, all situations that can happen, and that can coincide with politics and we have news and we have political commentary on this show. And that's what you're going to get Think as part of this. the three hour daily show as well. I, as and soon as podcasts. you just said that every single thing we do on this show is going to be cancelable. Everything we talk about. Well, we're There's probably nothing. going to get We're going to talk about the, <laughs> we'll talk about the border. There's 50% of the people in this country that would like to cancel us because we're talking about the border. We're no going to talk, we're going to talk about Trump. 50% of the people are going to want to cancel us. And DeSantis. And DeSantis. And Biden, for that matter. And Fetterman. I mean, and, and Nancy Pelosi. What we want. 
Uh, we're going to talk about Fetterman won. He did win. Still, how did he win? Uh, by uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a beauty contest. He won the beauty contest and got into office. I'm probably know. going to cancel you at some point, Eric. <laughs> I can't wait. And we're probably all going to cancel each other. Yes. At some point. <laughs> yes. But you know what? I what I really love is that we all come from different perspectives to some degree. I think we're all still right leaning. I, I think we're all Republicans. I, I, I don't think there's... Well, well Eric, you know I'm what? Not I don't sure want to you. say that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold <laughs> Eric, on. I'm hold not on. sure about you. Hold on. That's you change, fine. You change every okay, day. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Like a chameleon. That's cool. But here's the deal. I want to come into this not being... Yeah, baby. So, I do. Are you going to be our... I'm not playing. You're going to be unbiased? Look, not unbiased, but I would... Like, I had a conversation with a millennial and a Gen Zer two or three nights ago. And I, we had a conversation, and the way they spoke was very, it was articulate, and they were talking their points. But then I sat there, Vic, and I looked at them, and then I started bringing up commonsensical points back to them. I go, fantastic. And, and every single one of their arguments was broken down to where they were looking at me going, yeah, I just contradicted myself, didn't I? And I want to have those conversations. And they left pride by the side? No, 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 no. They did not leave because pride by the side. Because that's where the issues occur. Exactly. That's exactly right. But no. But, and that's where people get mad. When you start to break down their arguments and you win, then all of a sudden you got a problem. Well, who decides who wins? That's what we try to do on this show. Well, I can give you an example now, but I'll wait till the first show. That's what we should How's do. We're that? teasing. Yeah. But it is interesting. You bring up, quote, younger I don't know if you said the word woke or not, but you look at the 18 to 29 year olds in midterms and I'm not sure I haven't seen all of the data. Mm -hmm. Every state in the United States went blue for the 18 to 29 year old age group for midterms. Sure did. Well, there's no question because what you know why? What does that tell you? Because it tells you that the younger generation is looking at politics like you and I used to look at music. It is a, it's a trend. It's a fad. And people in the younger generations, when I was that age, I was more worried about what the next White Snake album coming out was. All right. No, you were more worried about the next White Snake video. Exactly. Tony Katane on the hood. <laughs> Bam. I was not worried about Dukakis versus uh, Bush. <laughs> but here's the deal. I think that kids now this is a, a this is a generational thing that they're very interested in, and you better start to learn how to win their vote. I mean, Tabitha. well, no question about it. I just think we're facing a situation where. We have all of these colleges that are indoctrination camps. They're starting out kids at a younger and younger age, preschool, pre-preschool, pre-K. And what's happening is now our younger generation, they're so much more progressive than I think most Americans realize that. And we're seeing it at the polls. Yes. But the one thing we want to remind everybody is that all opinions are welcome. When we've yes. done our radio yes. in the past, it doesn't matter that we've come to a podcast now. We're not television even though you see us in a live TV audio aspect for podcast, mm -hmm. for TV, radio, we're a podcast. Nothing has changed. All opinions are welcome. We will have all of that information on our website. You'll have a phone number you can call in to the studio. You can actually go to our website, which is very simple. Canceltheshow.com. Canceltheshow.com. You'll click on a link and you can join us on the show. You can also read the comments because we'll be on several television platforms or I should say several platforms where you can see us. And then you'll also hear us on other platforms as well. Some of those platforms include YouTube. They include Rumble. They include what? Cloud Hub? You were talking Cloud about Cloud Hub. Hub? Cloud Hub, Twitter. And then you'll also hear us on Apple, Spotify mm -hmm. and multitude other uh, platforms. But of course, we'd always want you to be on our app. Yeah. And our website at, once again, canceltheshow.com. The other thing that I think is so fantastic about this, and when I met Mike and we started talking, and I never realized it because I was in local news for 24 years. It's all about, okay, we got to please this. We got to answer the numbers. Yes. And as I've watched the ratings fall year after year, decade after decade, to the point where we're getting so low ratings, it's like, oh my gosh, are people watching local news anymore? Yeah. I, Mike is like, check this out. And then it's like, what is the aspect for the advertiser to get involved with a podcast like ours mm -hmm. that people get behind when you actually start looking at the dollars? Do the dollars being sent, uh, spent make sense in print, radio, and television? Right. I'm not so sure they are. But the great thing about these podcasts, you get niche. You can see who's listening. You can see who's watching. You can see the age. You can see yeah. where they are, which is why... If you're an advertiser, ha ha, yeah. here we are. Jump in. Yeah. And and er, the other thing is, I mean, there's so across the board, the interactivity, the fact that I will I will listen to this on Spotify before I even watch it because that's how I like to take my media in. Uh, the other thing is that you will have people 
uh, disagreeing with you in real time. It's archived. We'll be able to cut these into, into smaller nuggets and really review how maybe this show changes over the years. Maybe how our opinions change over the years. We also have fun. <laughs> oh yeah, um, the fun is we're serious, yeah. but we laugh, we party yeah. hard, we play hard, yeah. we get serious. And here's I, I forgot to tell you guys this: there was a question that came to me the other night at the at one of my shows. Will we be doing the paranormal stuff anymore? Well, of Apparently, course, we are. Apparently, that went over, Vic. Well, Fridays. So, what do you have on Fridays? I, I got Paranormal Friday. <laughs> Is it called? I thought it's free. For, I thought it's free we're for talk, all Friday. We're talking ghosts. We've already got your light. <laughs> Good. We, what we is, can, what we if we used to call lighting. it? Yeah, it's, if, it's very we, spooky in here. We used to have a name for it. And I don't remember what it was. Uh, it wasn't paranormal. It Fridays. wasn't free for all Friday. It wasn't free, free for all, for all Friday, Friday works for me. It's fine. It's yeah. great. I love it. It's, it's kind gonna of be good. See, we can also Conspiracy change Tabitha's Friday. Well. <laughs> Tabitha, uh -oh. Tabitha, I just changed your light on you. The more out oh, of you hand. look very pretty. Yeah, in that. she does. She looks. Don't make her look too good. I love pink. The more out of that was supposed to be red. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's pink. I'm okay. sorry. I don't know my. The my, more my out of line Tabitha gets, the more red she gets throughout the the show. So it's gonna be. So that's gonna go red in just a little bit. You know what? I kind of like it because. It's kind of like it's girly. Well, yeah, it looks. She looks like a. Do you a, like that, or do you like the blue? Better? Oh, I love the blue. And you know what? It matches fact, your eyes and for, your blue sparkles. <laughs> for anyone that can see the studio, which hopefully is everyone, if you're actually watching the yeah. show, this is the most beautiful studio. The blue lighting, the black, the charcoal gray. It is beautiful. It is. And thanks to Strategic Air Services for yes. hosting us. Uh, this is an immaculate airport hangar, mm -hmm. and we had to have the kind of studio. Not only from the aesthetic standpoint, and you see it. What's better than this? Yeah. I mean, look at this. It's inspiring. I mean, it, it's inspiring. I love it. It is. Uh, but also what we're doing from a technical standpoint. Yeah. Because you can see all mm -hmm. of us interacting. And we haven't even had the guests jump in no. through canceltheshow.com, right. which is where our guest will go. Yeah. And we're coming to you very soon. And this is an invite for all of the wokesters, for all of the millennials, the Gen Zers out there that disagree with us. If you disagree with us, we're going to have a chair right over there the hot seat the hot is it called the hot seat what is it called i don't know it's what kind of like the elvis throne it's going to be a velvet yeah. blue yeah. chair with crispy cream donuts hello <laughs> <laughs> we're going to invite you in and we're going to just we're going to have a conversation and you're going to change our minds i'm sure and so this is a call to all of you guys <laughs> and we just want to remind everybody this show while we're a st louis based show this is gearing for national mm -hmm. attention we're, we're going out across the country so if you're somebody that's seen this somewhere across the country and there's some political figure there's yeah. somebody who's been canceled there's some story you want us to focus on let us know we've got three hours every day we're gonna rock we're gonna roll we're gonna do what we've always done and bring the best news coverage that we can the best stories that we can and you know what at the end of the day it's about having fun yeah it's about being entertained and it's about being educated yeah. at the same point yeah, and we always have a sense of community. At the on the last show before you got canceled, <laughs> I got canceled. <laughs> the last show we had a sense of community. No matter what people were saying, it never got out of hand. We always respected each other, and we just had a great time. And I can't wait for that to start to develop again. When do we get you makeup, Eric? Uh, do I need it? Do I? No, care? I'm just we're under. We've got like I, really good lights and production. It, value great now. lights. I'm 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 sorry. I'm going to be the uh, I'm the weak link as far as the visuals go, <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I'm Stop. cool with that. Okay, <laughs> you're the rock star of the <laughs> show. I grew new hair just for this, Eric. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. I got a face for radio, and I have no problems. No, Tabitha, I'm, is there anything we missed? Because you kind of you keep those notes and you make sure that we get all those points. I just want to make sure everyone is aware. And what's so unique and so wonderful about the show is that we're live Monday through Friday, 7 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Anyone can join us live, interact with us in one cohesive place. You can go out there and interact with us on any of the different streams. And we're going to see your comments. We're going to take live calls from listeners, from guests, etc. And not only that, but each show is going to be broken down into little pods. So every little topic that we discuss is going to be its own pod. So if you don't have time to listen to an entire three-hour show, check the check out the topics that yeah. you like. You can go to our library and check out all of those little individual pods any time of the day. And not only that, but even though we live stream the three-hour show, somebody can go back into our library and they can watch the entire three-hour show anytime they want. Yeah. Mike, from your experience of doing podcasting for several years, what is the importance or how have you seen that value really kick in for people when there's a library? 
Well, for advertisers, it's wonderful because er, uh, really tap with the hit really on the head, which is you can listen and or watch 24-7, 365. So that for advertisers, when you think, uh, I think I'm going to spend money in advertising and I'm going to try and capture the 9 a.m. housewives. Well, that's great. Unless you spend the money and then you get nothing back from it. The value of throwing into podcasting is that if your niche, which podcasting is, then whatever you're trying to reach, you find a podcast that has that niche audience, and then you throw your stuff at it. And as a matter of course, those people are listening and watching and wanting what you're going to be throwing mm -hmm. at them. That, th th that's the one, two, three that's missing, along with all the analytics that you talked about that are missing inside of just about every other modern day advertising opportunity. Bam. There yeah. you go. So Eric could be playing his guitar on Friday as well. Uh -huh. Guitar Friday. Yes. I will. <laughs> might be a ukulele. We don't know yet. Ghost, ghosts <laughs> and guitar Friday. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> ghosts and guitars. <laughs> well, we're having a blast. We always do. We rock and roll. That's what cancel. This is all about. As we talked about, if you guys don't have anything else to add, we'll call it. We'll call it. I a can't day wait right for now, the man. first real show. And we're going to rock it just yes! like we do, man. Uh, Let's break the huddle. For for Mike Wilkerson, Eric Johnson, Tab the Hassle, I'm Vic Faust. It's Cancel This. It's coming to you soon. We can't wait to talk to you. We can't wait to tell your stories as we bring the best live news, live commentary, political stories, and, of course, the best when it comes to education and the cancel culture that we live in in this society. So until next time, I'm Vic Faust. We'll see you later. <laughs>